Hey guys, guess what? I got a parcel. And not only that, it's from Thailand. And it's from a company called Bugsolutely. Bugsolutely make pasta out of crickets. And they saw our last vlog, which was called Edible Insects, and said, that's a pretty cool video, Mr. Newis. We'd like you to do a video review of our pasta. So that's what they sent me, some pasta. So let's put some, some water on the pot and start boiling and see what it tastes like. See you later. As digital content creators and aspiring social media influencers, we love to share our fun with others and invite you to join us on our adventures through the videos we post on this channel. Alrighty, let's talk some fun facts about Cricket Pasta. Yes, I did say fun facts about cricket pasta. This is the pasta we're talking about. It doesn't look any different to any other type of pasta. Anything, I guess it looks like whole grain. The cricket content in this pasta is basically 20% of cricket flour. So ground crickets. These are crickets that are raised for human consumption in a controlled farms uh, processed under the HACCP standard, which is the hazard analysis and critical control points uh, laid down by the FDA. So the actual manufacture of this pasta is closely controlled. It's nothing like eating insects that I showed last in our last video that you can buy from various markets in Thailand. This is very different. The other point that the manufacturer of this absolutely makes is that it's much more nutritional than regular pasta. 40% more protein, got less carbohydrate, omega-6 and 3. I've got no idea what omega-6 and 3 is, but anyway, it's got that in here. Double the amount of fiber with uh, 3 grams per serving. There are apparently 7 servings in this box. Low glycemic index, approximately double the amount of iron and calcium, and cricket pasta provides 10% of the recommended daily intake needs of vitamin B12 as well. So a lot of um, nutritional goodness comes out of this when you compare it to regular pasta. So uh, I think that's enough of facts and figures. I will post a link in the description to bugsolutely.com and I will also uh, put a link to some of the downloadable uh, data sheets. They've got a lot of information on their site. Full disclosure, they want people to know everything about this, the certifications that they've gone through. So with that being said, let's, uh, let's get boiling some water because that's how you cook pasta, right? Well, that's one way to cook it. See you in the kitchen, which is over there. So we're going to cook uh, two types of pasta. We're going to cook the cricket pasta that we're reviewing, and we've also got some rainbow pasta. Here we there go. You go. Okay. <laughs> we're going to cook up two dishes to go with the pasta, so we can try different flavors. We've got a salad with uh, bell pepper, uh, Italian dressing, olives, mm -hmm. and uh, mozzarella cheese. That's for like an appetizer. And we're also going to do uh, Cajun chicken yeah. and with sausage. Sausages. Right. It should be uh, uh, Cajun chicken. So, my dear, um, we don't normally cook together, do we? No. So, what, what, how is the experience so far? Good, actually. I do my job, you do your job. Yes, babe. Here's the cricket pasta. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Okay, I'm gonna try just the raw, not the raw, but the, the cooked, but without anything on it. Crookie pasta. Mm -hmm. You think? Well, it's, it, it hasn't got the same consistency as regular pasta. It's got a little, it's a little more grainy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But it's still alright, it's still good. Still good, yeah, it's, but it's, it's got a slight taste to it. Uh, but let's uh, let's try a salad first. Okay. I guess the thing is with any any meal, really, the the um, the sauces or whatever you add to the pasta tend to take from the pasta any any taste that the pasta actually has. So it tastes, the, the, the pasta is really adding sort of like a consistency or some texture to the to the dish really, more than a taste. So, mm -hmm. you know, I don't, that's why I wanted to try the, 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 the cricket pasta without anything on it because you can definitely taste the cricket pasta, but then when you put it in a dish, you kind of lose the taste, don't you? Yeah, you're not, you're not tasting anything. Oh, that's right. And so we made everything with the, as I said before, with the cricket pasta and with just the regular pasta. So I'm going to try, and really I don't expect any difference in taste, but the consistency or the texture might be a little bit different. Regular pasta is more um, smooth, um, softer I guess, hasn't the same consistency as the cricket pasta. Good so far. Okay. A bit more salad in there. So I guess we should try that. Okay, thanks, I, I think really it's more about the consistency of the pasta more than anything else. Once you add it to something, you don't feel anything. You don't. There's no taste of the pasta really because it's overwhelmed by the pasta. Certainly the taste of of the the mm -hmm. the food. yeah another, the food. Another spice, another ingredient. Yeah. But what I would say is that I kind of like the consistency of the. Cricket pasta. I kind of like the fact that it's it's grainier than the regular pasta. And the time when the boy this shorter than the regular one. Yeah, that was something that was interesting. The, so the cricket pasta you, you boil for uh, four to five minutes, I believe. The packet said. Well, it's a regular pasta. They were recommending you boil from nine to eleven minutes, kind of a little bit longer. And actually, we did have to put the. The regular pasta back into the water and boil it for a bit longer. It wasn't. It was. It wasn't quite cooked in the in the center. So we had to cook it for a lot longer than the than the cricket pasta. Mm -hmm. yep. So there you go. Our, our review of cricket pasta. Sorry, it's not um, a particularly uh, technical review. We're not. Um, we're not professional yet. Yeah, we're not renowned chefs. <laughs> so, but certainly I like the consistency of the cricket pasta. And I like the, when you eat it on its own, it's definitely got that, that kind of nutty kind of taste to it. It's kind of nice, but a little bit different to the regular pasta. So um, I'd have to give it a thumbs up. Right. And you guys can try it. Because you just listen for what we told you. You're not going to know until you try by yourself and you will see how good it is okay cheers cheers everybody see you next time well it's all gone so must be good, right? I mean, it wouldn't have all gone if it wasn't good.